The next expansion for Lotro, the Corsairs of Umbar, is getting closer and closer. And as we know, with update 38, and when we level up, we are going to lose some items and some of their bonuses. So the purpose of this video is to go through every single class, look at their set bonuses, look at their class essences, look at their class items, and then figure out which classes get nerfed the most with this new expansion and losing all these bonuses. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel as it always helps out. And let's get into the video. First class we're going to look at is the Bjorni class, and the first set we're going to look at is the 4 set for the blue set for the Bjorni tanking line. Counter attack reduces the cooldown of counter. Counter grants 15% more evade. Losing this bonus is definitely a nerf to the Bjorning tanking, making your counter skill a bit weaker, and also reducing the ability to have it back sooner. So definitely a nerf for the Bjorning here. The Red Bear set as well, minus 4 seconds to Vicious Claw's cooldown, and plus 20% to Vicious Claw's damage, will also be a nerf for the Red Bjorning. Your Vicious Claws in Redline is kind of like an animation cancel skill that you can use, and it will also be pretty high in your damage numbers, so reducing the cooldown, making us use Vicious Claws less to cancel animations, and also dealing less damage with this skill, will definitely nerf the Red Bjorning a little bit. The Yellow Bear set bonus is also going to be a nerf for Bjorning. Encouraging Roar gains the uplifting Roar area heal as a secondary effect. Its cooldown is increased to 6 seconds. So what exactly changes with this skill with this set bonus? The cooldown will increase from 4.5 seconds to 6 seconds, but the trade-off is that you get this secondary effect. Effects applies to friends within 25 meters, but almost heals the same strength as Encouraging Roar main heal to any allies within 25 meters. This is also raid-wide, so that means it's group-wide in a fellowship, and it will definitely nerf the AoE healing you can produce as a Bjorning. Hopefully the reduced cooldown of Rejuvenating Bellow will be enough for the bear going forward. And obviously you still have Nature's Salve and you have Relentless Maul. But definitely a blow to the AoE healing of Bjorning, losing the secondary effect of Encouraging Roar. A definite nerf for Yellow Bjorning. Looking at some of the class essences for Bjorning, the Sacrifice Essence is a nice thing to have, making your Sacrifice a bit more powerful. But in my opinion, this is not enough to warrant a nerf. The same thing can be said for the upon getting hit, gain 5 wrath essence. This is also a really nice thing to have, especially as a yellow bear. But once again, not enough to call it a nerf to the class, as it's more quality of life instead of nerfing the class. The Cardolan essence of brawn, losing this is definitely a nerf. This is for Red Bjorning. When you critically hit, gain 10% Thrash damage for 10 seconds. Although the effect has a 20 second cooldown, Thrash will always be high on your damage as a Red Bjorning. So this is definitely a nerf to the Bjorning class, losing this essence. And finally, we can look at the Bjorning class item. The class item is simply more stats. Losing the class item will not be a nerf. For the Brawler class, the Blue Brawler Force Set from HH. Metal Shield now only costs 1 metal per hit absorbed. This basically means that if you toggle your Metal Shield, every time you get hit, normally you would lose 2 metal every time you get hit. But with this set bonus, you lose 1 metal. It's nice quality of life. It's like almost at the limit, or if I would call it a nerf or not. But I think the 1 metal per hit absorbed is really nice for the Brawler. Obviously, it doesn't really matter when you're tanking a lot of adds, you're going to lose the metal shield fast anyways. But if you're just tanking one target, it's still pretty nice to have the metal cost reduced on metal shield. But I think this set bonus is just about a nerf. It's not a big nerf, but definitely something I'll miss. So losing this set bonus just about warrants a nerf in my opinion. Losing the red set bonus is also a nerf in my opinion. Losing the Devastating Crit chance will hurt a bit because the Brawler's biggest damage comes from their high Devastating hits. And you'll also lose some helpful metal generation by losing this set bonus. So in my opinion, definitely a nerf. 
And finally, the four set for the yellow set bonus. The vulnerability effect can now stack on your target up to three times. Obviously, this is really nice, but for red line, you're definitely going to go with the four set for red. So you won't be using this for red. And for blue line, you could use this if you don't care about the metal shield. But overall, since you don't really use it in red, and you maybe use it as a blue brawler, I would not call losing this a nerf. Losing the essence of the stalwart is also a nerf. It changes your plant feet cooldown. It will once again make your plant feet cooldown longer, and the effect from plant feet will revert back to what it used to be, and not this new effect, and I think the new effect is clearly superior, so definitely a nerf to the brawler there. Losing the Essence of Fury is also definitely a nerf. Every time you critically hit, there's a 25% chance that your bonus damage from metal will be doubled for 10 seconds, so an obvious DPS increase will be lost for the brawler, making it another nerf. Losing the brawler class item will also be a nerf, and the main reason for this is that the light type damage, 7% light type damage, will not be on your crafted items, at least it's not on the Gundabad crafted items, meaning that of course you lose these stats, but we don't really care about the stats. You also lose the 7% light type damage, which will decrease your DPS as a red brawler, and this is definitely another nerf. Next up is the Burglar class, and I think losing the blue set bonus, Exposed Throat skill now applies to Bleeding Juggler Dot. As far as I know, this is used by a Red Burglar as their force set, and losing this bleed from using Exposed Throat will definitely be a nerf to the Burglar. The yellow set bonus will also be a nerf. Losing the plus 15 second trick duration will give you a few seconds downtime on your double tricks. So definitely another nerf to the burglar class. Losing the essence of surprise will of course hurt a little bit for the burglar. Losing this 5% incoming damage for 8 seconds. It does however have a 20 second cooldown and it has a 5% proc chance. So the proc chance being that low combined with the duration only being 8 seconds. Leads me to say that this is not really a nerf. It's a really small downgrade for the Burglar, but I would not classify this as a full nerf. The Essence of the Keen Eye I will consider a nerf though, and this is mainly used for the Yellow Burglar. Whenever you critically hit, there's a 25% chance you will reduce your target's critical defense by 10% or 15 seconds. So this actually stacks with your Vital Points debuff, so the proc chance being as high as 25%, and the duration being 15 seconds. Although the cooldown is 30 seconds, I still think the proc chance is pretty good, and the duration is solid, making me think that losing this will be a nerf for the Burglar. And finally, losing the class item as a Burglar will not be a nerf since you don't lose anything important, only stats. For Captain and for the Blue Captain set, I don't think this set bonus reformed the lines now grants the targets the unwavering line buff, which increases max morale by 10% for 20 seconds. I wouldn't call this such a massive nerf. Blue Captain isn't played that much in general. And just a simple morale buff for 20 seconds is not going to be enough for me to call this a nerf. So blue line H8 set, not a nerf. With the red captain set comes the first nerf, minus 5 second Shadow's Lament cooldown. Losing this will definitely be a nerf for the captain. A lot of people are hoping that this gets uh, turned into the captain as a normal trait. Having a lower cooldown on Shadow's Lament will definitely hurt your DPS, so definitely a nerf. The yellow captain HH set, I think it comes into the same category as the blue line, where it's not really impactful enough to call it a nerf. Yes, obviously it's going to be a nerf to your ability to support the group, but I don't think this is impactful enough to call it a nerf. Another nerf for the captain is losing the essence of battle. When you critically hit, there's a 25% chance the cooldown of battle shout will be reset. This will definitely be a nerf for the red captain because you will lose that extra proc to use your skills like devastating blow or pressing attack. So definitely a nerf for the captain. The essence of the gallant is of course a slight nerf because you lose some damage on your gallant display as a red captain. And you lose a little bit of healing on the yellow captain or blue captain. 
but it's not impactful enough. It only affects one skill and not to that degree, so I would not call this a nerf. And when it comes to the Captain class item, yes, the class item has 3% melee damage on it, but other than that, it's just stats. The melee damage is usually only relevant for the Red Captain, and typically the crafted Red Captain banner will always have the 5% melee damage on it, meaning that this will not be a nerf. When it comes to the Champion and the Blue Hidden Horde set, the fact that, that Champion isn't played nearly as much as other tanks, and the fact that my knowledge of Blue Champ isn't that great, if I remember correctly, this is basically a permanent uptime for a morale buff, but the overall circumstances leads me to not put this as a nerf. The same thing will go for the Red Champion set, giving each strike skill the Swift Mercy stack, increasing the damage to Merciful Strike, and the sole fact that Merciful Strike isn't really used in a Red Champ rotation, it's typically Brutal Ferocious and Remorseless spam, makes me put this as not a nerf. The Yellow Champ set bonus, however, is definitely a nerf. Fury of Blades, after using Fury of Blades, adds 10% critical damage to engage the Tide skills, which is basically all your AoE skills. So Yellow Champion will lose some AoE damage here, and in turn also lose some single target damage, definitely a nerf. And for the Essence of Focus, the class Essence for Champ, when you critical hit, there's a 25% chance your Fervor bonus damage will be doubled for 10 seconds. The effect has a 30 second cooldown, but it's definitely a little bit of DPS loss, losing this Essence, and definitely a nerf to the Champ. And finally, when it comes to the Champion class item, the Champion bow is simply all stats, so it's not a nerf. For the Guardian, we have an absolute nerf with the Hidden Horde blue set. Catch a Breath heal is delayed by 4 seconds, but during that time, the incoming damage is reduced by 35%. And even though it will be nice to get the Catch a Breath heal like right away, instead of waiting for seconds, this damage reduction has always been really strong for the Guardian, so definitely a nerf for the Guardian with losing this set. The red set, however, is not really needed as I understand it right now, since the Guardian rework, you're not really dependent on this uh, set as a Guardian, so losing the red set bonus won't really affect you that much. The Essence of Opportunity is close to being a nerf, but although it's nice to have in blue, spamming Sting to give you more parry responses to get your redirect up, I wouldn't necessarily call this strong enough to lose for it being a nerf, so not a nerf losing this Essence. Something that definitely will be a nerf is the Essence of Retaliation for Red Guardian. Retaliation reduces the physical mitigations of the target. Although you lose some physical mitigation, you also gain 10% melee damage. So losing this damage source as Red Guard is definitely a nerf. And finally, the class item, the bow for the Guardian, is not a nerf as it's only going to be a loss of stats. For Hunter, losing the 4 set, the red 4 set, Rain of Arrows inflicts the Barbed Rain bleed on all targets hit, is definitely a nerf. Not only will your AoE be a bit weaker since you won't get all the bleeds on all the targets, but your single target damage will also lose a bleed, so a definite nerf for the Hunter. The Essence of the True is also a nerf to the Hunter. Losing the ability for the Heartseeker reset will also be a nerf, Getting those extra Heartseekers during the fight is incredibly powerful, and you can no longer get the reset. So another definite nerf for the Hunter. When it comes to the Hunter class items, all you really lose is stats. The minus 12% bow skill power cost can be found on the crafted items, so this is not a nerf. For the Lore Master, we have the blue 4 set that makes Inner Flame require no channeling, meaning that you can just pop the skill, and it will just heal without you having to channel to get to the heal. Now even though this is really nice quality of life, I wouldn't necessarily call it a nerf to lose this. You just lose a little bit of utility, so not enough to be considered a nerf. When it comes to the red Loremaster set, although it seems pretty good in my opinion, getting some more damage on ends go to war and also reducing the cooldown a little bit, Overall, I don't think this will classify as a nerf, so no nerf for losing the red set either. 
One thing that's definitely a nerf is losing the yellow four set. Power of Knowledge inflicts shocking enervation, reducing the target's damage by 20% while channeling. This is useful in a lot of instances, a lot of places where you can reduce the damage taken by the group, or for example on the shard on boss 4 in Gwathronos, where you can reduce the strength of the shard bleed once it gets applied. So definitely a nerf for the lore master losing this set. The essence of the feathered, although it's definitely a nice thing to have, I don't think this is a big enough nerf for me to say that this is considered a big nerf. So no nerf for losing this essence. The essence of flame will give your fire skills a 50% chance to apply an additional burn. So another bleed can be applied. And although this is of course a DPS gain, the effect has a 25 second cooldown. And because of this long cooldown, I wouldn't really consider this a big enough nerf. Losing the Essence of Flame is not really a nerf in my opinion. Something that is definitely a nerf is losing the Essence of Knowledge. Not really for the Blinding Flash duration, but the big thing here is the plus 5 seconds Enfeeble duration. Getting those extra 5 seconds on the Enfeeble debuff is actually a pretty huge deal for the Lore Master. So you're gonna lose a lot of potency by losing this Essence. Definitely a nerf for Lore Master. And finally, we have the Loremaster class item, and this is basically a stat stick, where all you will lose is stats, so not really a nerf for the Loremaster. When it comes to the Mariner class, the blue set gives Northwind a frost mitigation debuff of 5%, and it also increases the damage of Northwind a little bit, and I don't think this is strong enough to be called a nerf, so no nerf for the blue set. Losing the red set, however, is definitely a nerf, Finishers will give you a damage buff, so you will lose damage potential as a Mariner. So definitely losing this will be a nerf. The yellow Mariner set bonus, Sludge Pot, Cleanses Corruptions, is not strong enough in my opinion. So losing this is definitely not a nerf. Something that is absolutely a nerf for the Mariner is losing the essence of the attacker. Losing the extra 10% to your 4 state buff damage, and also losing the extra damage over time pulls will definitely hurt your DPS and is definitely a nerf to the Mariner. The essence of jugglery, in my opinion, is really, really close. I ended up leaning towards this being a nerf because having this essence makes your jugglery application chance almost 100%, giving you much more control over the fight and a lot more success if you want to apply your jugglery debuffs. So it's really close, but I'm leaning towards calling this a nerf. And then finally, the Mariner class item. Losing this class item will make you lose the 15% finisher skills damage and also the 5% single target attack damage. When I think about it, I haven't really checked the uh, crafted items if they keep, for example, the 5% single target attack damage, but I feel like they definitely won't have the 15% finisher skills damage. So losing this class item is definitely a nerf for the Mariner. For the Minstrel and the Blue Set, which makes Healer Strike give more incoming healing to your allies nearby when you use it. This set bonus, I was really not sure if I would call it a nerf or not, but I think it's just about strong enough that losing this will be considered a nerf. Losing your red 4 set is also a nerf. Song of the Hammerhand, your personal bubble, while it holds, gives you plus 20% tactical damage. And typically in most fights you won't take that much damage so your bubble will hold and it will basically be considered a dps cooldown losing this is definitely a nerf the yellow four set reduced 45 seconds on call to greatness cooldown is also definitely a nerf in my opinion a lot of the utility for a minstrel is from their call to greatness cooldown and losing this set bonus means you'll have to wait longer for your call to greatness cooldown. So definitely a nerf in my opinion. The essence of spirit is also another nerf. Critical heals with triumphant spirit will give your allies 3% mitigations for 10 seconds. Pretty strong buff to have. And if you just pop your call to Irith with the triumphant, you will always crit, meaning you'll always have the mitigation buff. So losing this will definitely be a nerf for the blue minstrel. The Essence of Song is also another nerf. When you hit an enemy, there's a 5% chance you gain the 20% Ballad and Coda damage for 10 seconds. 
although this effect has a 30 second cooldown. With all the animation cancelling you can do on a minstrel, this is pretty strong. You can get a lot of ballads and codas in during a 10 second window, meaning that losing this is definitely considered a nerf. When it comes to the blue minstrel class item, the healing class item, losing this is not really a nerf, since you can get the critical healing magnitude and a 3.5% healing from crafted instruments. So losing the blue mini instrument is not really a nerf, as all you lose is stats. Losing your red minstrel class item, however, will definitely be considered a nerf. The reason for this is that on this single instrument, you get the 30% ballot and coda damage, you get the 3.5% crit chance of ballads, you also get the 3.5% coda critical chance. And the reason this will be considered a nerf is that on the crafted instruments, you won't get all of these bonuses on the same instrument, so definitely considered a nerf for the minstrel. For the runekeeper, the blue runekeeper set bonus, minus 10% incoming damage for 8 seconds every time you use a flurry of words and they're within 25 meters of the flurry, they will get the reduction of the incoming damage and this is definitely a nerf for the runekeeper to lose this as a healer. Very strong grip reduction that he will lose with the new level cap, so definitely a nerf for the runekeeper. Although I know there are some people who don't really like the horrifier cycle set bonus, the fact is that you actually get a DPS increase by using this set, so it's gonna be a definite nerf for the runekeeper to lose this set bonus. The yellow runekeeper might not be as popular to DPS with as the red one, but losing this set bonus for yellow runekeepers will also be a nerf, losing the double potency of your Rit of Lightning mitigation debuff, and also losing the tactical mitigation reduction by 3%. Definitely another nerf for Runekeeper to lose this set. The Essence of the Elements is mainly, I would say, useful for a blue Runekeeper. Whereas, if you hit an enemy, there's a 5% chance you will apply the minus 3% tactical mitigation debuff for 20 seconds. And as a blue RK, you would just weave in some fire skills on the target. You have this Essence proc on the enemy. So overall, I think this is strong enough to be considered a nerf. Another nerf for Runekeeper. The essence of the bait is also definitely a nerf. Losing this every time you critically hit, there's a 15% chance to trigger the harsh debate effect. Although this effect has a 20 second cooldown, it's another way to proc the harsh debate effect. And this can also trigger on any crit, not just lightning attacks. So it's a really useful essence to have as a runekeeper. And finally, when it comes to the class items for the runekeeper, the DPS class item is not a nerf because all you lose is stats. The same thing can be said for the healing class item. Although it has the 100% Prelude to Hope initial healing, you can also find that bonus on the crafted items. So losing this class item is also considered not a nerf. For the Warden, the blue force set each time you BPE, the cooldown of for the free peoples is reduced by one second with a two second cooldown. Although this is a quite useful set bonus to have, I don't think it's strong enough to be considered a nerf for the Warden, so in my opinion, the blue force set is not a nerf. And when it comes to the red force set for Warden, in my opinion, this is not a nerf because this is not strong enough. Fear Gambit's initial damage increase during Recklessness is not really strong enough for a class that gets most of its damage from their bleeds, so this, in my opinion, is not a nerf as well. When it comes to the yellow set bonus, however, marked and diminished target removes an additional 2% mitigations. This is definitely a nerf for both the red and blue warden, losing some of their group utility potency and 100% a nerf for the warden. The essence of the shield is also definitely a nerf. Basically, you get a free 2% fismit and a 2% tactmit from keeping up your shield mastery and shield tactics buffs. So losing this is definitely a nerf to the Blue Warden. The same thing can be said for the Essence of Light. When you hit an enemy with a Fist Gambit, there's a 50% chance you will apply a 3% Light Mitigation debuff for 20 seconds. And although this has a 30 second cooldown, the fact that the duration is 20 seconds and it also reduces Light Mitigation, which will increase your damage, means that this is a definite nerf losing this Essence. And when it comes to the blue line class item, I wouldn't consider this strong enough to be called a nerf, 
although you lose the plus 7% shield gambit line healing, it is not enough for me to call it a nerf. So Blue Wardens should be fine, where you basically only lose stats. So Blue Warden, class item, not a nerf. When it comes to your DPS carvings and your class items, I would definitely say that this is a slight nerf, because on the crafted carvings, you do have 7% light type damage, but you'll notice that the right carving has 10% light type damage, meaning that you'll lose 3% light type damage, and the one on the left actually has 5% warden dot damage if you want that. So overall, you're definitely going to lose some potency from losing your class items. So I think it is definitely another nerf for the warden. All of this means that this is the list that I'm ending up with. These are how many nerfs the classes will get overall, how much value they will lose by losing the set bonuses and the class essences and the class items. As we can see, Minstrel will be the big loser overall with 6 nerfs to the class. Brawler and Runekeeper are second with 5 to both. Beyonding, Mariner, Warden get 4 nerfs each. Burglar gets 3. While at the bottom we have the classes who gets the least nerfed by losing their bonuses. Captain, Champion, Guardian, Hunter and Loremaster lose the least amount of good stuff. But then of course we can look at Hunter and say that Hunter loses the Heartseeker reset. So although the number of nerfs might be higher on some classes, on some classes the nerfs might hit a bit stronger. For example, losing the Heartseeker reset on Hunter is a pretty big nerf, while some of these on the top might get several moderate nerfs. But overall, Minster, Brawler, Runekeeper are the big losers by losing their bonuses. Bjorning, Mariner, Warden, and Burglar are found in the middle. And the big winners are Captain, Champion, Guardian, Hunter, and Lore Masters. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. And if you like Lotro, I would really recommend joining my Discord servers. You can also support me directly through my Ko-fi website. If you're playing or looking to play Lord of the Rings online, there is one place you need to be. The Guiniverse is a Discord server created for the community of the players of Lord of the Rings Online. The server is getting close to 7,000 members, and in the server you'll find tons of helpful information. There's monthly giveaways, easy access to patch notes, you can keep up with my YouTube videos, my streams. If you're a streamer, you can ask for the streamer role, and you can announce your streams in the other stream channel. There are discussion channels for pretty much everything, every class, monster players, but the best thing about your server is probably the gearing resources tab, where you can find anything from trait lines for every class, every build. There are stat goals, where you can find out what stats you should aim for on your characters. Really helpful information about the drop rates from instances, as well as screenshot from all the new loot that appears in the game. If you enjoy Lotro, you should definitely consider joining this server, and hopefully I'll see you in Middle Earth. If you were part of the Guiniverse already, you might have noticed that another tab appeared at the top, the LFF server. This server is a brand new server that I created, the LFF Guiniverse. In this server, you can select which servers you want to keep up with. And once you select your server, say you select Arkenstone, you will see the LFF, the kinship advertisement, looking for kinship and trade channels. And there's also voice channels if people want to use those. The LFF channel is basically a looking for fellowship channel where people can post if they need players for the runs. And this way, people don't have to be logged into the game to see the chat. They can just instead get a notification on their Discord. There's also a kinship advertisement page where kins can post their kinship advertisement and have people join their kins. And you can also post in the looking for kinship chat if you're looking for a kinship. But make sure to take a look in the kinship advertisement first and look through all the kin to find a suitable kin for you. There's also a trade channel if people want to buy or sell stuff that you can use. Hopefully you'll consider joining this server to bring the community even more together, not just in the game, but also outside of the game.